All right. The last video where you saw how to initiate a purchase order from a Zoho create a custom function. Now let's go ahead and add the products. All right. So uh, let's look at what's left and the original CRM response we got. We have a product and then uh, the list of products. All right. So the product holds the list of product line items. Let's uh, say how that looks like. All right. And uh, each line item is a is a map value. All right. This is a map value. So uh, in Zoho Creator terms, we need to first create a list for this. All right. We need to create a list for this, and then we need to uh, create objects for each product line item and then we need to take that list put it as a key value in the PO map the basic step is we need to first create this list so we can then create this uh, object and then this object then append them all into this list all right let's start by creating a new list I can call my list as uh, PO line items list so I can put as list map map all. all right so this is a map list now what I do I uh, I go to this I take this one oops I take this one all right let's figure out what are the uh, required values when you add line item product ID it is mandatory and discount is not mandatory net total is not net mandatory one is stock now product name yes total is not required list price yes quantity yes everything else no they are not mandatory we can create a new map so we'll call it the PO line one and that's a map so it's a PO line one and uh, let's initiate a map variable and we are going to follow same thing as the PO map here so what we do PO line map dot put so this will be product ID and this will be the number, the product ID number. I will also create product names, list price and quantity. Alright, we created this field line map to include all, all four field values. Now we, our job is to add this to this list first and then we'll create the next map for the next line item. All right? so, to add uh, this map to this list, what we do is we have a uh, built-in list function that says add, and then we'll add your line one map. Okay, so we'll replicate the same thing for the uh, next object that is this one. So I'll do that as well, and I'll call it as PO line two map. All right, now we have created PO line one map and PO line two map, and we have added PO line map, line one map to the list, as well as PO line two map to the list. Now our job is to add this PO line items list. So it will look something like this, and the product equals. So what we do, we go to PO map, map, the put of, Okay, here is the key. Uh, when they return the response, they say it's product, but when I tested it with uh, the same key value, it did not accept it. So what I had to do was, I had to use the same exact name that is used in the PO, you know? So I had to use this exact product details. So I use this product details here, and then now we'll add this PO line items list. We'll use that all right so here's a little bit of change please uh, keep watching to this change they may probably fix it to 
uh, match this product as well, but I'm not sure. Right now, this works. Product details, and then you have the list. All right, so let's uh, give a number. Um, okay, so let's give it as 10110, so something like that. Execute. So go ahead and uh, look at my purchase orders. There should be 10101 now if I click on it. Let's scroll down. Here it is. iPad Pro, iPhone, the grand total. All right. Okay, if you look at it, uh, it does not have the total value right now. It's because we did not pass the total value. So to fix that, we have to make sure we pass that total value as well. Whatever value you want, you can add that field name as a key and the value. You know, so for example, for this total will be 1500. For this, it will be 1000. You know, so you can add that. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to wind up for now. But before I wind up, I wanted to let you know one thing uh, that I will cover in the next video. Um, you may not know this product ID because uh, this number is hard to remember. What we normally do is we kind of have duplicate uh, records inside Zoho, CR, uh, Zoho Creator. So whenever you have a product name in Zoho Creator, you also have a CRM ID as a column and then store that value from Zoho CRM. Similarly for vendor name, if you have a vendor name, you will also store the vendor ID as a column in Zoho Creator. If you have that, then uh, you can use it. Uh, when you have this vendor.name, you will also have vendor.id, you know, vendor.crm ID or something, whatever the column name is. Similarly for the uh, owners, uh, if you have the uh, username, you will also have the, uh, you will also store the user ID and use it here. All right. Okay. So that's how you create a purchase order in Zoho CRM. Uh, Zoho Creator Custom Functions. Keep watching. Thank you for your support. Bye bye.